than a weapon from the Lord. Hello? Anyone ever had a weapon from the Lord? You know, the worst weapon I ever got from the Lord is when he blessed me when I wasn't supposed to get blessed. Hello? You expected a weapon and you got blessed and you go, that's not fair. Amen? But you know, today we're here and Thanksgiving's coming this week. There's no service Wednesday, so we can get our, our, our Thanksgiving dinners and our family all together. How many of you know that there's nothing more precious than family? Aren't you glad to have a loving family? And you know, as we come together, we are a family. We're the family of God, and uh, as we come together, we, we love one another, we share with one another, and Sister Ida was sharing with me over and over and over. And uh, as she shared with me, she shared with me someone's name, and it was Ron and Kathy Green. Look at her looking at me with that look in her face. Oh, that look, man, that look. Woo! But she let me know about them, and, and she, uh, she was special in that blessing. But each one of us, in our own way, is special. God didn't create junk. How many of you know that? God didn't create any junk. He said, you're a peculiar people. Some are more peculiar than others. But really, when you look into the Greek, you find out when he said, you're a peculiar people. He said, you're a treasured people. You're precious in his sight. And as we come together, this is our Thanksgiving dinner together. Amen. And as we come together, it's, it's a joyous time to bring to you this couple, Brother Ron, Sister Kathy. Let's give them a warm welcome and, and be glad to be able to worship the Lord together today. Amen. Do you like to worship the Lord in song? Now, I, I know one thing. If you're a rock and roller, you came to the wrong church this morning. Hello, Brother Kobe. Amen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. He's always interrupting me. Oh, turn around. Get back up here. Get back up here. <laughs> <laughs> Not too hard now. <laughs> Don't pull him over. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad he didn't ask me. Hello? He's a young strapping boy. Again, let's give him one more hand as they come. What a joy it is to be here today. We have been looking forward to this, and thank you, Pastor and Sister Nancy, for letting us come. Whatever your name is. And appreciate Sister Ida. We met Sister Ida, it's probably been about three and a half years ago, I think. Um, maybe, yeah, probably three years ago. And um, she uh, loved music, loved our kind of music. So today we're going to take you on a journey. Some of you are young whippersnappers and some of you are young at heart. And I'm sure that you'll remember a lot of these songs that we sing. Please feel free to join That's us. Sister and, Harriet. And Sister Harriet, our dear friend from McCall, who has moved down the mountain now as well. And um, so I was blessed when she got to come. I, I had called her this week to see how they were, and I totally forgot to tell her about today. And I called late last night, and she said, I don't know, but I'll try. And she was able to show up today. So thank you for coming, Sister Harriet. I was Appreciate glad that. when they said unto me, let yes, us go, go to the house of the yes, Lord. How many know? That we Amen. serve a great and mighty Woo! God. Amen. Yes, we do. Thank yeah, you, Lord. Let's see here. Let's see here. Thank you, Jesus. Something's not working. There's no Rasmussen's in the house, is there? Okay. I had another couple I talked to this last week and invited them tonight, and I didn't know if they'd get to come or not. Well, we might. We might be uh, on a slow journey. On a slow journey, man. On a slow journey. Well, praise the Lord. God, Lord. you have. All things in your hand, we are going to just wait on you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, praise the Lord. Okay, think, mm -hmm. rethink what you got to do. Well, talk a little bit more. Oh, you? praise the Lord. Talk a little bit more. He I never know, tells me to do that. I know you don't have to, uh, <laughs> I usually don't have this problem. <laughs> no, 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 he usually doesn't have that problem. So, 
But you know, it is the week of Thanksgiving. And I just want to tell you that one of my favorite scriptures is found in Psalms 103. If you have your Bibles, why don't you turn there while we're waiting for Mr. Green to figure out what he's going to do here. What God's going to do. Okay? Alright, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. You know what? Um, I believe on a daily basis, there are many things that we forget that are benefits in our lives Amen. that God has benefited us with. Amen. He has given things into our lives. Um, you know, I was talking to somebody one day and he says, you know, I'm thankful for the blessing that I'm upright today and I'm yeah. breathing. <laughs> you know, that's a benefit. That's a benefit of our Lord. And these are some of his benefits as well. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who's not a sinner here? We've all fallen short of the glory yes. of God. We've all been a sinner. And he has forgave us all of our iniquities. Who heals all of our diseases? Have you been healed? Yes. Amen. God's touched my life many times with healing. He has redeemed your life from destruction. How many lives were going down this path that had no end? They looked like it had a good end. But it would have led them to destruction. But he has saved your life from destruction. He saved my life from destruction. I, I was thinking back on my life. I've been to church all of my life. When I was 12 years old, I said yes to Jesus. And I thank God for his keeping power in my life. I didn't walk the path that some have walked. I've not walked that path. And I thank God for his keeping power. That he kept me through those times of my life when I could have went astray. And I remember where I was when I said yes. And I remember the evangelist's name. He was a missionary. And his name was Richard Lindemann. And um, someone told me recently that he is still alive and lives in Portland. And um, I, I don't have my old Bible that I, when I got saved. But, that's all right. It's um, all right. You were saved Baptist. I don't care. <laughs> that's right. I was saved Baptist. Okay. Who crowns you with loving kindness yes. and tender mercies. Have you ever felt his arms just surround you? Just embrace you and hold you when you were going through a time that just felt horrible. The bottom was dropping out of your life. But yet God's arms surrounded you with his loving kindness and his tender mercies. He satisfies, satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. I thank the Lord for the renewing of our strength. The renewing of new power every day in him. He comes fresh into my life every morning. And I can give him total glory for what he's going to do in my life. And I have learned, it's, it's been a hard, a hard thing for me because I'm not a bold person. I am more bold now. But I didn't used to be. But I have gotten to where... She used to stand on the X. Yes, on the X. No one, I didn't talk either. Except what I was saying. But... You know, God has given us a vessel, yeah. an experience with him to share with people. And you will never know what kind of a smile you will bring to someone else if you will just share your heart. Tell them they look beautiful. Tell them, I'm so glad you God gave you that smile. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. And, glad that God gave you and I thank smile. God for his bountiful blessings. Beautiful. On my life. How many of those we serve a great and a mighty God? Yes, right? we do. Thank you, Lord. Well, let's see. I guess it might help if I unmute it. That would help. <laughs> I'm having all kinds of difficulties today. Lord, pray for me. Wait, God's going to have this. Okay. Way. There we go. Oh, yeah. How many of those we serve a great and a mighty God? Let's sing it. How great thou art. I 
served the Baptist before she got saved, you know. <laughs> oh, praise God. How I many of those are powerful love? Are you praying? Thank you. 
the first time you ever dropped your microphone, honey. Thank you, Lord. Well, I heard something pop, but I was looking this way over here. Oh, what? That's okay. I can still sing without one. <laughs> Amen. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to uh, cue that song back up to uh, that uh, uh, last verse there. Would you do service for Jesus, yes, your King? Amen. And whenever it comes to the course, we want to teach you some hand motions. Oh, okay. It goes, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. You got it? Oh, oh that didn't do it. it. That's not it. My goodness sakes. You are just... We're going to have to revise you today. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Situation. No matter where you find yourself, God gives just power. You know, sometimes by the end of the day, I'm running short of steam. <laughs> I, I, my, my engine's about ready to pull into the market. And stop. My engine already has stopped. And, uh, <laughs> but God satisfied. gives us power Amen. for yeah. every situation. And I love Amen. the wonder-working power of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I wandered so aimless oh, and life full of oh, sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior yeah, in. Right. Then Jesus came like a stranger. Oh, thank the night. you, Lord. Sister, what time are we supposed to stop? I know you're having special oh, hours. Right. Let's see what time is that clock set. Pardon me? Okay. You know what? This is absolutely as cruciating being up here. Yeah, sometimes. With that smell coming in, with all that food and everything. Oh, my, my. That's the most excruciating service I've done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's I'm great. Amen. That we're celebrating Thanksgiving. Amen. With these wonderful Hallelujah. people. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Physical. Amen. Hey, the soul is more important. Than well, some, several years ago, there was a young man in the uh, 
country music genre of music come out with a with a big hit and uh, it went like this I came home from work like I always do I spent my whole day just thinking about you then something happened and my life was changed because nobody answered when I called your name you know the typical country western lost everything uh, song you know <laughs> Well, I was, uh, I was at work one evening, and uh, this was, I think, back in the uh, mid-90s, something like that. And uh, the guys had the, uh, I, I worked as a mechanic, and uh, the guys had the uh, uh, bay doors open. It was a warm August afternoon, and they had the music blaring, and Vince Gill came on singing this. And when it comes to the part where it says, because nobody answered when I called your name, but the Lord spoke to me and said, you know what, Ron? Every time you call my name, I promise I will answer yes, you. Amen. That's right. Now, it's not always the answer I want, That's but it's right. always the answer I need. Yes. And so I took my lunch break and I rewrote those words a little bit and it goes kind of like this. That's a little bit country, is that all right? Might even hear a little mandolin in here. Run. 
the same and he always answers when I call his name and he will always answer when you call his name aren't you glad for it? let's thank him for it right now you said yes the turmoil that went on in your life the struggle before you said yes God had been calling you for a long time putting things in your lap in your life in your way drawing you to him to forgive you and to love you Amen. he loves you so much this morning yes. you know he guides our steps it says the steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. If we would look backward and see where our path has taken yeah. us, sometimes what a mystery and a joy it is to know that he's guided my steps. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11 that I have good plans for you, not plans of evil. God has good plans for you, and he is going to guide you steps where he needs you to go. You know, when you're going through the struggles in Isaiah 43, is one of my very favorites. It says, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Hallelujah. He's redeemed you, my friends. I have called you by your name, and you are mine. When you go through the struggles in life, remember you're redeemed. Remember, he's called you by name. He's called you, my friend. He loves you so much that you are, as Pastor said, a treasure, a priceless treasure, a treasure of great value. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you, for I am. Remember the words, I am. I am. I am the Lord your God. Yes. You are precious in my sight. God makes a way. Yes. Sometimes we don't understand the path that we walk. Our son-in-law was diagnosed with cancer in July. You know what? I believe God has used this to draw him to the Lord closer in a greater walk for him and his family. God does things that we don't understand. We don't understand the path he has us on. God makes a way. Has he ever left you? No, I don't think so. He's never forsaken you. And he's never seen his seed begging for bread. He's never let you go hungry. He is your great Jehovah Jireh. Your provider in so many ways. This is a special song for us. A dear friend of it wrote it for us. And it's called God Will Make a Way. Listen to the words. Oh, we can see the road ahead. You keep on walking. God is faithful and His Spirit leads us on. Oh, we in our hearts are turned to hear the Spirit's leading. Oh, 
say real quick that song uh, plus many more is on our our latest album we have a table set up back there that anybody here old enough to remember records I have a few boxes well we don't have any records for oh, sale today <laughs> how about eight tracks you might remember the eight tracks you know? nobody invested heavily in them today <laughs> yeah I gotta buy it yeah but well, you know, well, we don't have any eight tracks for sale either. We don't even have any cassettes. But you know what? We have, we have lots of CDs. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what? These are, these things are kind of going by the wayside a little yeah. bit now. You know, our our grand grandchildren has a little uh, thing about like that. It carries a thousand songs on it or something like that. You know? Wow. Anyway, uh, but uh, we ask ten dollars a piece, or uh, if. Uh, if you want all, uh, let's see, ten dollars a piece. I would do all six. We'll do it for fifty-five dollars a day, all six. Uh, if you want to buy all six, plus we we have those two other ones. Plus we have two other music CDs that we'll throw in there. So that's pretty good. Eight CDs for fifty-five bucks. So, but anyway, we got these little T-shirts and these T-shirts here. This one here says what? Proud. Proud of me. You know what? I'm proud to be an American. Yes, amen. 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 I know that our country has got a lot of problems, but I'm still proud of my country. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm an American. Amen. amen. And, uh, but uh, I want to introduce real quick, this lovely lady right here is my wife. She's been my wife for, uh, be careful. for uh, over 47 of the long, I mean the most <laughs> wonderful years. She's the mother of our, her name's Kathy, my name's Ron Green. Uh, she's the mother of our two children. We have a son and a daughter. And we have six of the most beautiful grandchildren that you have ever laid eyes on in your life. And, uh, you know, I just happen to have a picture up here if you want to see them, you know. <laughs> but uh, get this, our, our daughter has three boys and our son has three girls. Go figure that one out. But anyway, um, and we've got, uh, well, uh, other things for sale back there. Uh, 
necklaces and everything. And uh, whenever we go anywhere, we don't ask for a, a financial guarantee. We just uh, depend on God's generous yes, people and uh, and sales of our of our things there. And so uh, we, uh, you know, the big C is coming up. You know. So anyway, hey, uh, we we only got a few more minutes, but uh, I want you to do that. Though. Okay. Right. Stand here and just guide me. Don't get old, folks. Okay. Get me. I made it. Yes, I did. I'll tell you what. I don't know about you, but I've tasted and seen the goodness of God. Amen. His bountiful blessings. He is made me a new person, gave me a new life, gave me so many blessings. And um, as I have walked with Jesus and tried to follow his recipe, so to speak, for life, I have found that his way is the only way. He has given me more grace and mercy than I ever, ever deserved. And when I said yes, he began to pour into my life love, joy, peace, happiness, friends, a great family and husband, Oh, I was going to say. Um, you better forget that one. You won't. He poured into me so much that pretty soon my cup runneth over. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That I can drink from this cup, be filled to overflowing. To the point that I can pour into you and you and you. I need my cup so full of Jesus yes. that I can share with everyone who comes into my path. Don't be afraid to share Jesus. I'll tell you what, people, we have a short time on this earth. Our numbers, our days are numbered. It doesn't matter whether we're 10 or we're 100. Our days are numbered. God has them counted out for each one of us. What are you going to do with your life between 1952 when I was born and 2018? I won't. What, 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 what is that dash in my life going to represent? What's it going to represent in your life? That dash. Yeah. Think about it. We've been poured into by God's greatness. And I don't know about you, but I want to keep drinking from this cup and this saucer that he's placed in my life. I might forget. Just worship with me. The bountiful blessings that God's bestowed on your life. This is my testimony. I've never made a fortune. And you know what? It's probably too late.
Cause I'm drinking from my saucer, oh yes. Cause my cup has overflowed. Ain't got a lot of riches. And you know what? Sometimes it goes, it gets rough. Oh yeah. But I've got a friend in Jesus. Oh yes, I do. And that makes me rich enough. I thank God for all his blessings on me. Oh yes. And the mercies he's bestowed. Cause I'm drinking from my saucer, oh yes, cause my cup has overflowed. Oh sure, there have been storms in my life, and there's been some times when my faith was about that thin, and that old sun, it didn't shine. The old dark clouds one day finally began to roll away. And I began to shine in Jesus from the storms I had passed through. So Lord, help me not to grumble or complain about the tough roads I'm home. Oh yes, I'm drinking from my saucer. Thank you, Jesus, because my cup has overflowed. If God gives me strength and courage, when the way goes rough and steep, oh yes, I'll not ask for another blessing. You know why? I have. I've been blessed more than in love. This is the best part. May I never be too busy. Oh, that's right. To help my sister or my brother carry their loads. May I never forget that I'm drinking from my son. Because my cup. It has overflowed. Oh yes, I'm still drinking from my saucer. Cause my cup has overflowed. Oh yes, my cup has overflowed. This is taking and let's just praise the Lord. Let's just thank you for his blessings, Lord. We praise your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. I praise you, God. I give you praise and honor and joy. Lord, have your way in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, may we never thank you. be thank you. Thank you. not mindful of those around us. May we carry the load. Maybe we're willing to go to our knees and pray for the needs of our family. Yes. Whether they be church or family. Lord, thank you. You know, I was just thinking thank a while you, ago Jesus. when Pastor said that uh, he was expecting a whooping from the I like that whooping from the from the Lord and got blessed and said I, I thought, man, I Oh man, there's been so many times, brother, that 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 you know I was really expecting you know, to, but uh, but the Lord is gracious, the Lord is kind, full of mercy. Yes. and full of mercy. Amen. Yes, amen. Have we got time for two more songs? Yeah. Um, you want to come up here? Sure. Um, like I said, I'm a I'm I love my country. I'm very patriotic, and uh, I'm. I'm really thankful every year that, that God has given me one more year. Yes, amen. And uh, uh, this is 
normally a song that we, we would associate uh, around uh, 4th of July because it is a patriotic song, but it's also a song of thankfulness. Yes, it is. And it's one that my uh, late brother-in-law wrote uh, about 25 years ago, and uh, but I think it's very relevant for today, and we'd like to sing it for you. It's called Time for America.
to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Yes, give God the glory. Lord, thank you for Amen. Your one last song yes. here. Thank you, Lord. I want to sing. And it's, uh, it's, uh, let's see if I can find, oh, there it is, okay, there we go. It's another old hymn of the church. Yes, hallelujah. It's called Victory in Jesus. Do you feel victory today? I pray you feel well, victory. Well, I heard an old, old story. Do you remember when you heard it the first time? How a Savior came, came from, me. from glory. Come on. Yes, built for me in glory. Yes, amen. Put me on the crystal sea. About the angels singing the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there. Song of victory. Come on. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him. And all my love is due him. Oh, praise God. Yes, amen. Come on. Oh, victory, victory. My Savior forever will he stop me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victory in your name. Victory in our lives. Oh, victory in America. Hallelujah. Give the Lord.